I don't have my coffee today. Oh, uh, the- like on in the other shows. But uh, go ahead, Andrew. You take it off. No, go get your coffee. It's more fun when you have your coffee. We won't start to you have your coffee. I mean, it's more fun. I already had some earlier. No, okay, well. Hey, guys, this is uh, Vlog 11. As I told you earlier, my camera guy's here. We're talking about food today. uh, Hi, I'm Tang 9. Which is an interesting topic, so I'm going to let my camera guy kick it off. Okay, well, uh... I think today's vlog is vlog number 11, uh, and Andrew said he wanted to talk about food, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to close the door really quick to minimize noise. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, All right. I'll keep the yeah. American again. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, again. Well, while my, temper- while my camera guy is doing that, uh, oh, he's back on the air, so I'll let him, I'll let him babble on about food for at least five or ten minutes, so... Well, uh, where should we begin? Because uh, well, let's just start in general, like in like Japanese food wise. What what inspired what inspired you to like um, eat that type of food, or was it a first time was it a first time food thing for you? Uh, well, you know, I think I was interested in. Uh, Japanese culture through Japanese animation, you know, as a kid. And I grew up with that kind of stuff, so naturally I would be curious about Japan and what kind of food they have, so I wanted to try, uh, out of curiosity, sushi, you know, who who doesn't want to... Uh, right, who don't want to try I mean, sushi, well, yeah. Who isn't curious about eating raw fish, if you happen to... Love, in fact, love raw fish. If you're not a vegetarian, yeah. Uh, Or if you love fish, you might want to try it raw. So that's where uh, trying Japanese food all came from. Now, I don't want to harp on the vegetarians. That's why I'm going to be completely fair and ask Tank the same question I ask every vegetarian person. Would you consider yourself, like, if you weren't, like, into, like, fish or anything, would you be, would you, like, going to be a vegetarian all the time? Uh, that is a very tough question, Andrew. I skip that one. Okay, yeah, if it's personal, you don't have to answer it. Yeah. I just thought it'd be kind of curious. I was kind of curious, but I'll save that for another segment. But anyway, uh, yeah, so, anyway, is there other is there other foods that you have tried? Hey, who's at the door? I have no idea. Who is it? Hey, oh, it's hey Mark, we're, we're making a video right now. Can you uh, wait until it's over? Excuse me. Come on. Can you get the better food game for me? No, not right now. Come on. Where's Sally? She's gone. Yeah. She's I, need, I need to start to sign it. What? Sign my pants to something. Yeah, okay. Hey, okay. she's in Chicago. Alright? Anyway. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, you know, interruptions. They uh, happen. Yeah, but, but anyway. But the show must go on. Yeah, alright. Well, but okay. Now, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Was there other foods that you like to try besides Japanese food? Yeah, sure. I'd, I'd like to try various food from all kinds of countries. You know, whatever I haven't tried. You know, different cur- different cultures have different way to make their food. So, it's very interesting to try other things than, you know, typical American food like hamburgers, hot dogs, and pizza. Or Italian, you know, pasta. Right. Yeah, uh, it's very fun to try new food because of the way it's made and the way it tastes and what different country- countries are accustomed to and uh, yeah. So anyway, yeah, um, would you consider, would you uh, like get some pointers on how to make your food from like whatever country you visit or no? Uh, 
uh, from what country I visit. Yeah, like if you visit visited a country, would you get some tips on how to make like your food better? Let's just say better. My food better in yeah. a different country. Yeah, from a different country. Yeah, tips from a different country. Well, uh, under the assumption that the people in that country know how to cook Vietnamese food and do it really well, and I've tried it and tasted it, uh, I would ask them. For uh, pointers. For pointers, definitely. I'm like, how, how, would you, how did you make this? Um, but I believe the best place to ask for pointers is um, somebody's mom from who uh, who makes who makes food of her origin you know like um, a person who's lived in Argentina for a very long time would be very good at uh, Argentinian food I'm just making it up as I go along here and I think it would be best that to ask them because usually it's about the ingredients you know find ingredients from that country so uh, they would use you know ingredients that you usually don't find at a, a normal grocery store that makes uh, food taste very unique right and uh, let's say let's say when you went to Seattle did did you uh, like like the food that was offered to you or would you consider it not so as great as American food? Or let's just say would you not consider, consider it as great as, Cal as when you are in California? Uh, well, I... I like foods. Uh, I like food no matter where I go, okay? So, no matter what country it is I go to, I like trying new food, huh? Somebody's at the door, yeah. Okay. Mark, Mark, Mark. We still got uh, still seven ready. more minutes to go. Just oh, sign homework? it. Just sign it. I need help. Oh, well then, go find Christian. Oh, well then, no, Christian is here. out here. Yeah, Christian will just no, he's not here. Then oh. go find him. All right, can you wait until this is over? It's like seven more minutes. I uh, will, whatever. Come on, I need that door closed so we can do this. Right. Yeah, with you out. No. All right, well, fine. We'll cut it off here. Sorry. Okay, I guess that's the I end. I guess that's, that's the end of this. That's we'll, the end of the show because we got interrupted by Mark. We'll, reconve we'll reconvene either tomorrow or Thursday. Sorry, guys. I'm cutting it off here. All right. Bye-bye.